मेट्रो आर ओडियन मिशन डायरेक्टर ऑल वेदर पैरामीटर्स ग्राउंड वेज अपर वेज and greetings to all our viewers i am abhay kumar and together with my senior colleague and fellow commentator mr vinod kumar shrivastav i welcome you to this launch event being telecast live on doordarshan from the mission control center at the satish dhawan space center shri harikota the space port of india we are here to bring to you the live coverage of pslv c46 rsat 2b mission the launch will take place at 5:30 am indian standard time from our first launch pad the pslv c46 today is the core alone version of pslv and it and it will launch into the orbit risat 2b spacecraft weighing 615 kilograms the orbit is 557 km circular with an orbital inclination of 37.1 degrees risat 2b is a radar imaging earth observation satellite developed by isro its payload is the x band radar and it has a mission life of 5 years its main applications are in the areas of agriculture forestry disaster management support in today's mission we have one more objective that is the vikram 1601 processor realized through the semiconductors laboratory chandigarh of our Motor department of space control. will be flight Delta tested in piggy back mode we are now Delta about control. 28 control. minutes to launch suprabhat इस वर्ष के इस तृतीय उपग्रह प्रक्षेपण अभियान के अवसर पर मैं विनोद कुमार श्रीवास्तव मेरे वरिष्ठ सहयोगी श्री अभय कुमार के साथ आप सभी दूरदर्शन के दर्शकों के साथ साथ इसरो नेटवर्क के दर्शकों का सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र शार श्री कोटा के मिशन नियंत्रण केंद्र से अभिनंदन करता हूं। आज का ये उपग्रह प्रक्षेपण पी एस श्रृंखला की अड़तालीसवीं उड़ान है ये प्रक्षेपण PSLV C46 Resat 2B मिशन के अंतर्गत श्रीहरिकोटा के प्रथम प्रमोचन मंच से आज भारतीय समय अनुसार प्रातः पांच बजकर तीस मिनट पर छोड़ा जाएगा आपको ये याद होगा कि ये इस वर्ष का दूसरा प्रक्षेपण 1 अप्रैल को द्वितीय प्रमोचन मंच से किया गया था ये प्रमोचन PSLV वेरिएंट के अंतर्गत कोर एलोन की ये चौदहवीं उड़ान होगी प्रत्येक प्रथम प्रमोचन मन से छोड़े जाने वाला ये छत्तीसवां प्रमोचन होगा और श्रीहरिकोटा के प्रक्षेपण से ये बहत्तरवा उपग्रह प्रतीक्षा यान होगा इस प्रक्षेपण से 615 किलोग्राम के उपग्रह आर आई सै टू बी को इस प्रक्षेपण के द्वारा पांच किलोमीटर की वृत्ति कक्षा में पंद्रह मिनट उनतीस दशमलव चार दो सेकेंड पर प्रक्षेपित करेगा इस समय उपग्रह की गति करीब सात दशमलव पांच आठ किलोमीटर होगी टूडेज फ्लाइट इज द फोर्टी एट फ्लाइट ऑफ द पोलो सैटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल दिस ऑल्सो हैपन्स टू बी द थर्टी सिक्स लॉन्च ऑफ पी एस एल वी फ्रॉम अवर फर्स्ट लॉन्च पैड द रिमेनिंग ट्वेल्व लॉन्चेस ऑफ पी एस एल वी हैव हैपन फ्रॉम अवर सेकेंड लॉन्च पैड दिस इज द सेवेंटी सेकेंड mission from launch vehicle mission from shehrikota pslv is the work horse of isro and its 45 successful launches are a testimony of its robust world class design in these missions of pslv we have undertake undertaken missions like orbit uh, polar orbit missions other low earth orbit missions gto and sub gto missions it is the pslv which has taken us to mars as well as to moon and we are poised for many more challenges in the future we have four variants of pslv in terms of usage of strap ons and uh, they are the pslv xl with uh, six strap ons on your screens a view of the base portion of pslv on the launch pad you can see the small uh, attached a long shot of pslv standing majestically on the launch pad in the background you can see the mobile service tower which has been moved away and uh, now back to the mission control minus 25 minutes where you can see the scientists involved in monitoring the launch all of them on the computers monitoring the launch 
in the background our VVIP gallery where uh, our esteemed guests are witnessing the launch. And uh, as I was saying, uh, out of the four variants, we have PSLV Excel, Mission Director Sri SR BG on your screen. Uh, he has to authorize the launch after a few minutes, Correct. and we will show you that event also, as and when it happens. Roger. Then we have PSLV uh, with four strap-ons called PSL DL, and PSLV with two strap-ons called PSLV uh, with two strap-ons called DL and with four strap-ons QL. Control, and four, today we are flying completed. the core alone version as per the mission requirement. This is without any strap-ons. PSLV ke jo variants hai, usme ye core alone hai, isme ki strap-on ka koi jode nahi jaate hain. Aur hamare jo aur dusre variant hai, unme do strap-on XL motors. Uske uh, is samay aap apne screen pe dekh rahe hain ye core alone rocket ka jo chitra dikhaya ja raha hai. इसके जो साइट्स में जो रॉकेट लगे हुए हैं वो उसमें दो आरसीटी हैं और दो एसआईटीवीसी के टैंक्स हैं जो कि रॉकेट को पिच पिच डाउन या या कंट्रोल करने के लिए उनका उपयोग किया जाता है इस समय आपके नाउ वी ब्रिंग टू यू अ शॉर्ट फिल्म ऑन द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ पीएसएलवी सी फोर्टी सिक्स मिशन हियर यू कैन सी द फ्लैग ऑफ ऑफ द core base shroud and nozzle end segment of PS1. Sh uh, Shah Director Sri Pandian has just flagged it off and it has been brought to the launch pad on the moving uh, trailer. In this time, you have the nozzle end segment, which is the first one of the first one of the first one of the first one of the launch pad. The nozzle is the nozzle of the launch pad. The nozzle is the nozzle of the launch pad. The nozzle is the nozzle of लोअर कर रहे हैं इसके उपरांत इसको ऊपर करने के करने के बाद में हम दूसरा सेगमेंट जो कि इसके से जोड़ेंगे उसका चित्रण अभी आपके सामने प्रस्तुत होगा ये दूसरा सेगमेंट है जो कि मिडिल एड सेगमेंट वन कहलाता है और इन दोनों सेगमेंट को टंग ऑन ग्रुप जॉइंट के द्वारा इनका समाकलन किया जाएगा इसमें पी सी की कोटिंग इस पर दी जा रही है अब आप देख रहे हैं इसका एम सेगमेंट दो जिसको कि हमने अपने क्रेन के द्वारा ओपन लिया है और इस तरह से जोड़ने के बाद में प्रथम चरण तैयार हो गया है उसके बाद में इसके साइड में हमने दो डमी सिलेंडर्स और दो आरसीटी रॉकेट का समाकलन किया इस समय जो आप चित्र देख रहे हैं ये द्वितीय चरण का सी फोर्टी सिक्स का रॉकेट है जिसको कि टेलर के द्वारा लेके लॉन्च पैड पे ला रहे हैं और लॉन्च पैड पे लगे हुए क्रेन की सहायता से इसको हम वर्टिकल करेंगे इस समय आप देख रहे हैं इसको धीमे धीमे करीब 45 डिग्री तक वर्टिकल कर दिया गया है अभी एकदम सीधा पूर्वाधार हो गया है और इसको हम लिफ्ट करके प्रथम चरण के साथ में इसका हम समाकलन करेंगे अब आप देख रहे हैं ये सेकेंड तरह का नोजल है जो की प्लस माइनस फाइव डिग्रीज अपने और इसका स्टेरिंग कर सकते हैं ये तीसरे चरण का रॉकेट को चौथे चरण के रॉकेट के साथ में समाकलन किया जा रहा है इस समय चौथे चरण के रॉकेट को हम धीमे धीमे क्रेन के द्वारा नीचे उतार रहे हैं और हम इन दोनों पीएस थ्री और पीएस फोर का समाल करने, समाकलन करने के बाद में इसको हम एक टैंक के अंदर में समाकलित करेंगे फिर ये पूरा पीएस थ्री पीएस फोर का जो एक चरण है उसको हम ट्रेलर के द्वारा लॉन्च पैड की तरफ लेके जाएंगे इस समय आप जो देख रहे हैं ये पीएस थ्री पी एस फोर का समाकलित रॉकेट अब हम थर्ड चरण के द्वितीय चरण के ऊपर में इसका हम समाकलन करेंगे और सब समाकलन के बाद में इस समय का जो हमको व्यू दिखा रहे हैं सेटेलाइट ऑलरेडी समाकलित हो गई है और हम उष्मा कवच को भी क्लोज कर चुके हैं इस तरह से ये रॉकेट पूरी तरह तैयार हो गया है अब ये पूरा तैयार रॉकेट अब आपके समक्ष चित्र में दिखाया जा रहा है अब जिस एम एस टी यानी के अंदर मैंने समाकलन किया था अब उसको लॉन्च की उल्टी गिनती के अनुसार उसको हम वापस लेके जा रहे हैं वेलकम बैक टू द लाइव कवरेज ऑन योर स्क्रीन इन द सेंटर चेयरमैन इसरो डॉक्टर के शिवन फ्लैंक बाई एस टी एस सी शाह डायरेक्टर श्री पांड्यन एंड वी एस एस सी डायरेक्टर श्री सोमनाथ where the mission is being monitored. Minus 20 minutes. Uh, 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 a long shot of PSLV on the launch pad. It's uh, a very early morning here. The sun is yet to rise. And uh, we started this launch campaign 
of C-46 inside the mobile service tower which you saw just moved away on the 25th of March 2019 with the stacking of three of shroud and nozzle and segment as shown by us. The vehicle was step by step integrated with the support of various stage and satellite propulsion facilities and now after 57 days of launch campaign you can see the PSLV C-46 majestically on the launch pad undergoing final checks before its stated launch at 5.30 a.m. IST, that's about 20 minutes from now. This is the event number 491 completed. There are two SITVC tanks, there are also RCT rockets. This is the one that you have presented in front of you. This is the SCC, where we have driven the rocket in the rocket. And at this time, all the worst guns are ready. सिस्टम के चेकआउट देखने के लिए ये हमारे प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर श्री विजू जी हैं जिनको कि अभी लॉन्च के लिए अथराइशन करना है वो अपने समय का इंतजार कर रहे हैं उनके साथ में हमारे शास्त्र अंदर के एडी श्री मुक्ति साब हैं आरएसओ टूर वर्ल्ड मुक्ति जी हैं और ये एफसीसी का दर्शन � ये हमारे रेंज ऑफ सेंट डायरेक्टर श्री उंगीदन साहब हैं उनके बगल में हमारे डिप्टी डायरेक्टर्स बैठे हुए हैं पीएस टू स्टेज टीम टू व्हीकल डायरेक्टर ऑल स्टेज पैरामीटर्स आर नॉर्मल पीएस टू स्टेज क्लियर नाउ लेट मी टॉक टू यू अबाउट लॉन्च ऑथराइजेशन प्रोसेस वेयर द मिशन डायरेक्टर � the final countdown for the PSLC 46 mission started at 4:30 a.m. IST yesterday. That is 25 hours before the liftoff. The countdown was initiated following the clearances given by the mission readiness review and the launch authorization board. The authorization of the launch is given after reviewing the readiness of vehicles, satellites, ground station, and other range support systems. In the early stages of this countdown, the problem filling of the first stage was done. And subsequently, the second stage of rocket has been filled. Now, taking T as the lift off time at T minus 16 minutes, that is about one and a half minutes from now, the mission director will authorize uh, the launch to the vehicle director. This authorization is based on the readiness of re vehicle systems, satellite, range, and ground systems. On the screen, Sri Biju. Ready with the authorization. Then minus at T minus 15 minutes 30 seconds, the vehicle director Sri Srikant will authorize the initiation of automatic launch sequence. The ALS. ALS is then initiated at T minus 14 minutes 30 seconds. From this point onwards, check out of all the vehicles and satellite related activities are taken care by the onboard computer deciding on the launch vehicle. On the screen, she is our visual, taking the inputs from various subsystem directors before he authorizes the launch. Project director Shri Vijay, you are doing all the systems of your systems and readiness. After all, you are doing all the readiness of your systems. Control, event number 510, data lager for all and sharon and sharp to. At this time, you have got all the readiness of your readiness of your green signal. अब हम समय के इंतजार कर रहे हैं जबकि वो हमको एथराइज करें माने एथराइज करेंगे कि आगे की गणना की जाए इस समय जो दृश्य आप देख रहे हैं वो लॉन्च पैड का है दिस इज मिशन डायरेक्टर अब आप मिशन डायरेक्टर रिव्यू एंड लॉन्च ऑथराइजेशन बोर्ड हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन क्लीयरेंस फॉर प्रोसीडिंग विद द काउंटडाउन एंड लॉन्च ऑफ पीएसएलवी सी46 आरआईसेट टू बी मिशन ऑल ऑपरेशंस इन द काउंटडाउन सीक्वेंस टिल ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस हैव बीन कंप्लीटेड सेटिस्फैक्टोरीली Based on the clearance obtained from launch vehicle, spacecraft, range and ISRAC network stations and prevailing favorable weather conditions, Mission Director hereby authorizes to initiate launch operation sequence for the launch of PSLV C-46 RISAT-2B mission at 5.30 hours IST today, that is 22nd of May 2019. The Mission Director has authorized the launch and now we await the vehicle director's authorization of the launch, which is going to happen in few seconds from now. अब मैं आपको ये बताने की कोशिश करूँगा कि ये पंद्रह मिनट में क्या क्या इवेंट होंगे, जिसके द्वारा ये उपग्रह पृथ्वी की कक्षा में छोड़ा जाएगा।
शून्य से दो दशमलव आठ सेकंड पहले ओबीसी के द्वारा रिएक्शन कंट्रोल थ्रस्टर्स जो रोजन तरफ लगे हुए हैं उनको इग्नाइट कराया जाता है इन दोनों आरसीटी के प्रज्वलन की प्रक्रिया देखने के बाद में ही ऑन बोर्ड कंप्यूटर टी माइनस जीरो यानी जीरो समय पे प्रथम चरण को इग्नाइट करवाते हैं इसके प्रणोदी में चार मीटर लंबाई वाला रॉकेट जिसका की वजन 230 टन है वो धीमे धीमे अपने गंतव्य स्थान की ओर जाएगा जब प्रथम चरण जो कि करीब एक मिनट और 50 सेकंड के बाद प्रचलित होता है और रॉकेट को करीब करीब इक्यावन किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तक पहुंचा देता है और रॉकेट को एक दशमलव पांच नौ चार किलोमीटर पर सेकंड की गति प्रदान करता है उसी समय प्रथम चरण के मुख्य रॉकेट को अलग करके द्वितीय चरण के इंजन को प्रचलित करते हैं जो कि करीब करीब 150 सौ पचास सेकेंड तक जलता है और रॉकेट वेग को करीब चार दशमलव तीन किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड और एक सौ अट्ठासी किलोमीटर की आल्टीट्यूड तक पहुंचाता है इसी दौरान वो वातावरण से बाहर निकलता है उस समय अपने उष्मा कवच को अपने से पृथक कर देता है ये प्रक्रिया करीब एक सौ तेरह किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर होती है ऑन यूर स्क्रीन दी एस एल वी वंस मोर अप ऑफ द बेस रीजन अप्रोजअप ऑफ द लॉन्च पेडिस्टल उसके बाद तीसरे चरण के प्रणों से रॉकेट को प्रज्वलन करने के पहले दूसरे चरण के इंजन को बंद करके उसको पृथक कर दिया जाता है तीसरा चरण जो कि करीब चार मिनट सत्ताईस दशमलव सात सेकेंड पर इग्नाइट कराते हैं वो रॉकेट की गति को करीब चार दशमलव तीन किलोमीटर से बढ़ाकर छह दशमलव नौ चार किलोमीटर तक पहुंचाता है उस समय तक तृतीय चरण को मुख्य रॉकेट और किसी प्रोट के बिना कोस्टिंग करवाते हैं और 9 मिनट 34 सेकंड पर चतुर्थ चरण को इग्नाइट करके इस रॉकेट को करीब करीब पांच किलोमीटर की अल्टीट्यूड पहुंच जाता है उस समय उसकी अब स्क्रीन पर देखिए नाउ वी ब्रिंग टू यू अ शॉर्ट फिल्म मेड बाय द डेवलपमेंटल एंड एजुकेशनल कम्युनिकेशन यूनिट डेकू ऑफ इसरो हियर इज द वीडियो growing demands of space technology applications in the nation. ISRO today maintains a large fleet of indigenous communication, Earth observation, and navigation satellites. Besides, ISRO is self-reliant in launching most of its satellites today and has an array of operational launch vehicles like PSLV, GSLV Mark II, and the heavy lift GSLV Mark III. GSLV is the most used, well-proven and versatile workhorse launch vehicle of India. It has several important landmark missions like Chandrayaan-1, Mars Orbiter Mission, AstroSat to its credit. This GSLV C-46 mission will be the 72nd launch vehicle mission and 36th flight from the first launch pad from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar, RISAT-2. The first Indian radar imaging satellite was launched in 2009. Subsequently, RISAT-1, another radar imaging satellite, was launched in 2012. RISAT-2B. The third in the series of the country's radar imaging satellites will be launched in the forthcoming PSLV C-46 mission into a 555-kilometer orbit. RISAT-2V is a microwave remote sensing satellite which uses an X-band synthetic aperture radar cable and has a mission life of around five years. Once operational, the satellite will provide continuity to services provided by earlier RISAT-2. It will enhance all weather capability in various Earth observation applications like agriculture, forestry and disaster management support in a more effective way. 
With the growing interest of public in viewing the launches, ISRO has installed a modern viewing gallery at SDSC Shah, which was inaugurated on 31st March 2019. Presently, it has a capacity to accommodate nearly 5,000 people. PSLV C-46 the 14th flight of PSLV core alone is now ready for launch from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota to commence yet another important mission for the country. Welcome back to the live telecast. We are about nine minutes into the Minus launch. Nine minutes. And I'll briefly tell you the flight sequence which the rocket will follow today. At liftoff, with the timeline as t is equal to zero seconds, the solid first stage gets ignited on ground. The first stage takes the vehicle to a height of about 52 kilometers, and the inertial velocity at this point is 1.6 kilometers per second. The separation of first stage takes place at 110.6 seconds from liftoff. The second stage is ignited at 110.8 seconds from liftoff. Five seconds later, that is at 115.8 seconds, the closed loop guidance is started for PSLV for the precise path to its final orbit. That is, here onwards, the vehicle continuously co compares its current state with the targeted end conditions and follows the commanded path to achieve them. The heat shield separation takes place during the second stage of flight at, the at an altitude of 113.5 kilometers. The flight time is 177.6 seconds and at this time the initial velocity is 2.25 kilometers per second. The second stage takes the vehicle to an altitude of 188.7 kilometers before being commanded to shut off by the vehicle's guidance system. The flight time by now is 262.4 seconds and the velocity at PS2, PS2 separation is 4.3 kilometers per second. The third stage is ignited at 263.6 seconds after liftoff, which is about 1.2 seconds after the second stage separation. PS3 burns for about 120 seconds, and that is about 383 seconds of flight time. By the time third stage separates, at about 563.7 seconds flight time, the vehicle is at an altitude of 438.5 kilometers. About 10 seconds after PS3 separation, the PS4 minutes. is ignited, at 574 seconds flight time. The velocity at PST separation is 6.94 kilometers per second. From the timings mentioned, you will notice that there is an intentional coasting of about 190 seconds between the PS3 burnout and PS4 stage ignition. This is, this is a non-thrusting phase of the rocket needed to reach the appropriate conditions at PS4 ignition. So finally, the PS4 stage is ignited at 574.1 seconds and commanded to shut off about 882.4 seconds from liftoff when the required initial velocity of 7.6 kilometers of orbit is achieved. Hence, in this mission, PS4 burns for about 308.3 seconds. PS4 gives a precise orbit to the satellite by its cutoff commanded from the vehicle guidance. At this stage, the required circular orbit of 557 km circular Minus with 37.01 degrees inclination is achieved and 47 seconds later after PS4 cutoff at 9.29.4 seconds, that is 15 minutes into the launch, the RSI-2B will be injected into orbit. We will show the li live injection of RSI-2B from our onboard cameras. As you are telling us now, उपग्रह प्रक्षेपण प्रक्षेपण करने के लिए करीब 15 मिनट 29 दशमलव 42 सेकंड पर आरआई सेट टू बी को पृथ्वी की कक्षा में प्रक्षेपण कर दिया जाएगा। ये यहाँ बताना चाहूँगा कि जो प्रथम स्टेज का रॉकेट है, इसमें ये सॉलिड रॉकेट है, इसमें 149 टन का। On your screens, the prevalent weather here, you can see that it uh, going to rise, the redness of the sky and the calmness here in terms of Minus wind speeds are all visible. 
the weather at the launch pad has been very clear and very favorable. The important factors when it comes to weather are the one related to the wind speeds on ground and in flight and of course any lightning activities that may be prevail. Today it has been a very pleasant day, uh, quite early in the morning and the ground wind speeds are very benign. They are about less than 5 to 7 meters per second where PSLV is designed to withstand ground speeds up to 20 meters per second. The upper altitude winds also are favorable which means not much change from the earlier flight conditions. We always designed the rocket trajectory with measured winds and thus the smaller wind variability that means that not much change from the design trajectory. As you can see, it's been a long time in this time and it's been a long time in the sky. The wind speed is the highest wind, which we call 507 meters per second. The wind speed is the highest wind, which is 18 kilometers. वो 20 मीटर पर सेकंड के हिसाब से ये रॉकेट प्रक्षेपण के लिए बहुत ही विनाइन कंडीशन है इस समय आपके स्क्रीन पे आप देख रहे हैं C46 PSLV का कोर एलोन रॉकेट अपनी उम्लिकल टावर के साथ में खड़ा हुआ है और ये एक लॉन्ग शॉट में आप देख रहे हैं जो हमारे लॉन्च कंट्रोल सेंटर और मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर उनका एक चित्र आपको दिखाया जा रहा है इस समय हम तीन मिनट और अट्ठाईस सेकेंड दूर हैं अपने लॉन्च से ये एक विहंगम दृश्य आपको दिख रहा है जो कि पी एस अपने उम्लिकल तारों के साथ में और फीड लाइन के साथ में उम्लिकल टावर से जुड़ा हुआ है इस समय जो आप उम्लिकल देख रहे हैं उम्लिकल टावर इसमें जो पाइप लाइन होती है जिससे की हम द्वितीय चरण और चौथ चरण में द्रव नोदन को भरते हैं चतुर्थ चरण के दरब नोदन में मान थ्री और एम एम एच और द्वितीय चरण में हम यूएस ट्वेंटी फाइव और एन टू फोर को भरते हैं जो कि द्वितीय चरण में ये करीब इकतालीस टन भरा जाता है और चतुर्थ चरण में एक दशमलव छह टन भरा जाता है और प्रथम चरण का जो सॉलिड रॉकेट है वो करीब एक सौ उनतालीस टन का है और चतुर्थ तृतीय चरण का रॉकेट में ठोस नोदक सात टन का है ये दृश्य जो आपकी स्क्रीन के ऊपर में आ रहा है ये मिशन नियंत्रण केंद्र का था और इस समय हम आपको फिर आपको लॉन्च पेडिस्टल को दिखा रहे हैं इसको अगर आप ध्यान से देखेंगे कि समय से दो दशमलव आठ सेकेंड पहले यानी टी माइनस टू पॉइंट एट सेकेंड पहले इसमें लगे हुए दो जो आरसीटी रॉकेट हैं उनका प्रचलन होगा जब वो प्रचलन जो हमारा ऑनबोर्ड कंप्यूटर उसको सेंस करने के बाद में टी माइनस यानी कि शून्य के समय में प्रथम चरण को प्रज्वलित करेगा A view of launch control on your screens Minus in the center, Dr. K. Shivan, Chair Minister, flanked uh, on the left of the screen by Sri Swamanath, Director of VSSC, and on the right of the screen by uh, Sri Pandyan. A view of the screen of the MCC where uh, you can see the multiple screens in which <coughs> various flight parameters are being displayed. The green band is showing the clearances by the automatic launch sequence as per the timings and the red ones are the events which are yet to happen as and when the event happens in about uh, one, and one minute and 20 seconds uh, from liftoff one by one all these uh, reds will go green so mission director she SRVG you on your screens very close to the launch and uh, the excitement of the launch slowly building up here just a minute to go for the launch. इस समय हम एक मिनट दूर हैं, जिसको कि हम T minus one minute कहते हैं। उस समय रॉकेट का प्रज्वलन होगा और फिर ये रॉकेट के प्रज्वलन के द्वारा 230 टन और 44 चार मीटर ऊंचाई वाला रॉकेट धीमे-धीमे अपने गंतव्य की ओर बढ़ेगा। इस समय हम 45 सेकंड दूर हैं। अगर आप ध्यान से देखते रहिए टीवी की स्क्रीन के ऊपर में कि शून्य से दो दशमलव आठ सेकंड पहले दो आरसीटी रॉकेट प्रज्वलित किए जाएंगे, जिनके कंफर्म होने के बाद ही प्रथम चरण को प्रज्वलित किया जाएगा। इस समय हम 30 सेकंड दूर हैं Just sit back and see the launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
इस समय रॉकेट प्रज्वलित हो गया है और अपने गंतव्य की ओर धीमे धीमे उठ रहा है इस रॉकेट की दो टन वजन वाला यह रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य की ओर जा रहा है The early morning launch gives you a beautiful view of the flame of the exhaust of PS1 climbing into the atmosphere. On towards this path, towards this path. This is the first speed page of flight parameter. It is going to be the prediction that has been made and the actual one is going to be the one that is going to be the one that is going to be the one. Can you hear the road? Can you hear the road of the vehicle? इस समय रॉकेट से निकलने वाली जो आवाज है उस समय वायुमंडल को कुंजित कर रही है और जो लोग बाहर से देख रहे होंगे आपको भी वो आवाज आ रही होगी और हम इस समय एक मिनट के आसपास पहुंच रहे हैं प्लस वन मिनट पी एस वन पावर दिस स्टेज इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी मीटर्स इन हाइट एंड पी एस वन है This will burn for about 105 seconds, and it has a specific impulse of 270 seconds. The stage burns out at the altitude of 52 kilometers. We are now at the altitude of 27 kilometers. इस समय हम एक मिनट और करीब 30 सेकेंड तक चल चुके हैं और ये प्रथम चरण का जो रॉकेट से निकलने वाला प्रोनोड इसको धीमे-धीमे ऊपर की ओर लेते जा रहा है और इसकी गति बढ़ती चली जा रही है। इस रॉकेट का प्रचलन करीब करीब 110 स अब हम लोग करीब नब्बे सेकेंड से ऊपर। You will see the burnout of PS1 shortly. You can see the PS1 has burnt out and the initial. इस समय आप देख सकते हैं वीडियो में आपका PS1 और PS2 का अटैक हो गया है और a beautiful view of the separated bodies. You can see the first stage falling away and the second stage ignited and going moving forward. आपके स्क्रीन पे इस समय दो डॉट दिख रहे हैं जिसमें कि एक फॉरवर्ड रॉकेट जो कि सेकेंड स्टेज पे जा रहा है और क्योंकि प्रथम चरण का रॉकेट का इंजन एकदम नाजुक एकदम रेड आउट हो जाता है इसलिए आप दो सेकंड स्टेज पर फॉर्मेट देख रहे थे और सेकंड स्टेज का से निकलने वाला प्रणोद इस रॉकेट को और अपने गंतव्य की ओर लेता जा रहा है और इसकी विलासी समय के अनुसार बढ़ती जा रही है इस समय इसकी विलासी करीब एक किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड है और ये करीब अस्सी किलोमीटर दूर पहुँच चुका है और इसकी अल्टीट्यूड करीब छियानवे किलोमीटर तक हो गई है और ये रॉकेट से अभी कुछ समय जब यह वातावरण को से दूर जाएगा तब इसका जो सुरक्षा का वजह यानी कि प्रूषमा का वजह है उसको मेन रॉकेट से पृथक कर लिया जाएगा अब आगे आने आने वाला जो इवेंट है जो करीब 113 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर हैपन होगा वो हीट शील्ड का सेपरेशन है इस समय जैसा कि हमारे स्क्रीन पर दिखाया जा रहा है सेपरेट हो गई है और रेंज ऑपरेशन डायरेक्टर ने इसका घोषणा कर दी है और हम अपने स्क्रीन पर पृथक की भी ऊष्मा कवच को भी देख सकते हैं ऑन योर स्क्रीन स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस ट्रेजेक्ट्री द रेड लाइन इज द इंटेंडेंट ट्रेजेक्ट्री एंड द येलो लाइन वाज़ द ट्रेजेक्ट्री व्हिच द व्हीकल इज फॉलोइंग द ब्लिंकिंग डॉट इज द करंट पोजीशन ऑफ द व्हीकल वी आर नाउ इन द इन द बर्निंग फेज ऑफ द सेकेंड स्टेज द सेकेंड स्टेज इज ए लिक्विड इंजिन बेस्ड ऑन आवर famous Vikas engine which has a peak thrust of about 800 kN. The second stage has a length of 12.8 meters and it's loaded with liquid propellant second stage performance uh, normal. called US-25 and the oxidizer is the nitrogen tetroxide. That's the stage will burn for about 150 seconds. We are near, nearing the burnout of the stage which will happen in about 20 seconds from now. इस 20 सेकेंड के बाद में ये द्वितीय चरण का जो रॉकेट है जिसमें इकतालीस टन लिक्विड प्रॉब्लम था उसका इंजन बंद कर दिया जाएगा और तृतीय चरण का रॉकेट जिसकी की लंबाई तीन दशमलव छह मीटर है और इसमें सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टन सॉलिड प्रॉब्लम है अभी उद्घोषण की गई है कि तीसरा चरण का रॉकेट भी इग्नाइट हो गया है अभी इसके जैसा कि आप अपने स्क्रीन पर देख रहे होंगे जो ब्लिंकिंग डॉट दिख रहा है और जो रेड डॉट है उसके ऊपर में बढ़ रहा है और इस समय हम लोग रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी में करीब चार दशमलव दो तीन किलोमीटर पर सेकंड की वेलोसिटी अचीव कर चुका है और ये अपने गंतव्य की ओर बढ़ता जा रहा है। थर्ड स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस इस नॉमिनल एस डिक्लेयर्ड बाय द रेंज ऑपरेशंस डायरेक्टर। द थर्ड स्टेज हैज अ टोटल वेट ऑफ 8.6 टन्स 
out of which 7.6 tons Plus is the propellant, minutes. which is STBP, AP and A aluminum based composite propellant as used in the first stage. Third stage performance normal. The material of the motor case is of composite nature, which uh, results into significant payload savings. The motor case is about 2 meters of diameter and a length of 3.6 meters. It develops a peak thrust of 240 kN with a burn time of about 85 seconds and a specific impulse of 295 seconds. This rocket is control this nozzle. This is a flexi nozzle. This is a flexi nozzle. This is a flexi nozzle. This is a hydraulic system. This is a nozzle. This is a axis se thoda change kiya jata hai is samay aap dekh rahe honge ye animation aapko dikhaya ja raha hai third stage performance normal nozzle se nikalne wala jo rocket ke gases hain wo rocket ko aage badhate ja rahe hain aur is nozzle ko hum apni kaksha ke anusar on board computer ke system ke dwara hydraulic system dwara nozzle ko hum usi hisab se command dete rehte hain aur ye uski taraf aage badhta jata hai इस समय हम करीब 6.7 किलोमीटर की रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी प्राप्त कर चुके हैं और वी हैव रीच द बर्न आउट ऑफ पीएस थ्री एंड नाउ वी गेट इनटू अ प्लान्ड इंटेंशनल कोस्ट ऑफ 180 सेकेंड्स बिटवीन पीएस थ्री एंड द सेपरेशन ऑफ पीएस थ्री फ्रॉम द ऑनगोइंग व्हीकल दिस प्लान्ड कोस्ट इज अ एक्सेलेंट � the flexibility of achieving various kinds of orbits. Now, uh, as we wait for the coasting period to get over, which Vehicle will be uh, under 60 seconds, I want to mention to you about an uh, important aspect of the launch clearance protocol for ISRO missions. Plus that is about collision avoidance studies with space objects already in orbits. Here, an analysis is done to assess the collision risk between already existing space objects and the upper stage of the launch vehicle and also the satellite once it is in orbit. Potential collisions, if any detected, are avoided by adjusting the time of launch within the specified window. We have delayed launch in some of our previous missions by 30 seconds to 2 minutes based on this analysis. Recent examples are PSLV C42 and C43 normal. missions. However, there is no such concern for this mission. This collision avoidance analysis is carried out as a standard practice for all our launches from Sri Rikota. PS3 Charan ke ke engine band honne ke baad mein aur Chathut Charan ke engine ke shuru honne ke beech mein pura rocket isko jiske hum coasting phase kehte hain is mein joh velocity rocket ne gain kar li hai us mein usko koji loss nahi hota hai kyunki wahaan par joh hawa ke dwarah joh ghashan paida hota hai wahaan ki uski minimum minimum yaani kari kari zero घर्षण शक्ति है इस समय अगर आप देखेंगे कि हमने जो रिलेटिव वेलासिटी छह दशमलव सात किलोमीटर की प्राप्त की थी उसी वेलासिटी से समय के अनुसार ये रॉकेट आगे की ओर बढ़ता जा रहा है इसीलिए हम ये कोस्टिंग फेस कितना लंबा रखेंगे उसी हिसाब से हम पी एस एल भेजने के लिए यानी चंद्रमान या मार्स या एनी अदर और किसी आर्म ने भेजने के लिए इस हम कोस्टिंग फेज का हम बहुत ही अच्छा उपयोग करते हैं इस समय जो रॉकेट बढ़ रहा है और इसकी वेलोसिटी बहुत ही यानी कि किलोमीटर के दशमें यानी करे एक मीटर या दो मीटर की थोड़ी सी रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी कम होती है जैसे जैसे कि वो कम होती जाती है हम उसका इंतजार करते हैं और जैसे ही हमको जरूरत पड़ती है हम पीएस फोर का इंजन जो है पीएस फोर का जो इंजन है उसमें एक टन एम mm और मान थ्री को भरा गया है और इस इंजन की लंबाई करीब करीब तीन मीटर है और इसमें दो नाजोस लगी हुई है जहाँ से दोनों को थर्स प्रोवाइड किया जाता है और जिस तरह जैसे ही इंजन को हमको स्टेयरिंग करना होता है उसी हिसाब से हम इन नॉजल्स को हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम के द्वारा फ्लेक्सी करके अपनी हम कक्षा की ओर लेते लेके जाते हैं इस समय आप देख रहे होंगे आपके स्क्रीन पे जो ब्लिंक हो रहा है वो पी एस फोर इग्नेश एकदम पास दिख रहा है और इस समय प्रथम तृतीय स्टेज को चतुर्थ स्टेज से पृथक कर दिया गया है इस समय चतुर्थ इंजन भी इग्नाइट हो गया है और आप अपने स्क्रीन पर देख रहे होंगे कि चतुर्थ इंजन के जो दो इंजन है दोनों इग्नाइट हो गए हैं और आरओडी ने रेंज ऑप्शन डायरेक्टर ने इसका अनाउंसमेंट किया अभी अब आप ये रॉकेट जो है पीएस फोर के प्रवण के द्वारा आगे की ओर बढ़ता जा रहा है और जैसे ही ये अपने गंतव्य स्थान की तरफ पहुंचेगा 
इसके इंजन को शट ऑफ कर देंगे और उसे कुछ क्षण के बाद में आर आई एस एफ टू बी को हम पृथ्वी की कक्षा में प्रक्षेपित कर देंगे इन अबाउट फोर मिनट्स फ्रॉम नाउ द पी एस फोर विल शट ऑफ आफ्टर रीचिंग दर्बिटल कंडीशन एंड द फ्लाइट चार्ट विच यू हैव बीन सीन एंड और विच आर नाउ ऑन योर स्क्रीन दीज फ्लाइट चार्ट आर ब्रॉड टू यू लाइव बाई नेटवर्क ऑफ अवर ग्राउंड स्टेशन सिचुएटेड एट वेरियस parts of the world along the track of this vehicle uh, the health and trajectory parameters are available from this ground stations via the antenna mounted on the rocket with all required subsystems the information is sent to sriharikota ground station in real time and we we are showing to you uh, this information on your screen as you can see we have an altitude of 493 kilometers the range from sherikota is 2600 kilometers stage performance and the time elapsed is 650 seconds another another about 250 seconds to go and uh, again continuing with the coverage of our networks we we'll maintain a healthy overlap between the loss of signal by one station and acquisition of signal by the next ground station the entire mission of c46 is tracked by the ground stations at sherikota tirunanthapuram port blair and the ground station at yataraga australia there there will be a small gap in visibility when the port blair station will lose the signals and that is the vehicle will go out of the range of port blair station and before it is acquired by yataraga station in australia the gap is approximately from 800 seconds flight time Four to 900 seconds flight number. time that is about of 95 seconds and it is in the steady state burn period of the ps4 so there is no concern and the data will be stored overboard on board computers will relay the data back to the next visible ground station is samay hum kareeb 525 altitude kilometer ki altitude par hain aur hamari relative velocity 6.76 km per second hai aur humko apne gantapur pahunchne ke liye 558 km ki altitude chahiye hogi और उस समय इसकी वेलोसिटी करीब करीब सात दशमलव पांच किलोमीटर पर सेकंड इसको अचीव कर रहा हूं अब ये जो चतुर्थ चरण का रॉकेट है जिसमें कि मॉन थ्री और एमएमएच के द्वारा दो ट्विन इंजन से इसका प्रणो चल रहा है और इसकी रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी कंटिन्यूसली बढ़ती जा रही है इस समय हम करीब छह दशमलव आठ किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड की वेलासिटी प्राप्त कर चुके हैं और हमारी अल्टीट्यूड भी पांच किलोमीटर की हो गई है और समय सात सौ सात सेकेंड का बीत चुका है और ये वेलासिटी इसकी धीरे धीरे बढ़ती जा रही है जैसा कि अभी हमारे आर ने इसका भी अनाउंस किया कि इससे निकलने वाला प्रणोद हमारे प्रोडिक्शन और के बराबर ही आ रहा है अब हम करीब अपने गंतव्य की ओर पहुंचने हैं और 540 किलोमीटर का अल्टीट्यूड हमने अचीव कर लिया है और हमको करीब और पांच किलोमीटर तक पहुंचना है और ये जो ट्विन इंजन जो चतुर्थ चरण के हैं इनका प्रणोद प्रोडिक्शन के मुताबिक ही आगे बढ़ता जा रहा है अबाउट 90 सेकेंड्स मोर इनटू द फ्लाइट बिफोर पी एस फोर इज शट डाउन बाय द गाइडेंस एंड यू कैन सी एंड यू हैव सीन द वेरियस स्टेज सेपरेशन इवेंट्स हैपनिंग एंड पी एस वेराइटी ऑफ स्टेज सेपरेशन सिस्टम फॉर दिस द फर्स्ट स्टेज सेपरेट फ्रॉम द लॉन्च व्हीकल यूजिंग ए फ्लेक्सीबल लीनियर शेप चार्ज this system and the eight retro rockets then impart the separation velocity to the separated first stage the heat shield halves are separated by a linear velo system explosive cord which is encased in a piston cylinder assembly this is after a horizontal band separation using bolt cutters the moment band bolt cutter separation mechanism is used for the second stage and four retros provide the jettisoning force the third stage separation uses a ball release mechanism and the fourth stage gives the required separation velocity the rsi 2b separation is also spring based we are approximately 30 seconds to the ps4 uh, to the separation of ps uh, the satellite is samay hum kareeb 557 km ki altitude pe pahunch gaye hain jabki hamara jo dheh hai wo kareeb 558 km par pahunchne ka hai aur रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी करीब 7.13 सेकंड की हो गई है जो कि हमको 7.5 सेकंड की इससे भी कुछ सेकंड के बाद ही हम अपने गंतव्य की तरफ पहुंचेंगे और उस समय प्रथम जो इंजन है इस समय बंद कर दिया गया है जैसा कि अभी हमारे आरओडी ने अनाउंस किया अब से कुछ ही समय में ही हम सेटेलाइट का सेपरेशन भी देख पाएंगे इस समय हमारी रिलेटिव वेलासिटी करीब सात किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड है और हमारा आल्टीट्यूड 
करीब पांच सौ अठावन किलोमीटर है जिसकी कक्षा में हमको छोड़ना है वो हमने अचीव कर लिया है and we are waiting for the perfect alignment of the satellite into the orbit shortly we will bring to you the live uh, video footage of the satellite separation from our on board cameras and is samay aap ab dekhiye apne screen ke upar mein jo var on board ka camera laga hua hai us samay aapko darsha raha hai prithvi ka piche ka jo hissa hai wo apne rocket se dekh rahe hain aur is samay you can see the satellite also now you can see the satellite moving away जो ऑन बोर्ड पर लगा हुआ हमारा कैमरा था वो इस समय दिखा रहा है कि सेटेलाइट और के बीच में जो दूरी बढ़ती जा रही है और पीछे बैकग्राउंड में जो आपको एक दिख रहा है वो हमारी पृथ्वी की इमेज है अ ब्यूटीफुल व्यू ऑफ द अर्थ इन द बैकग्राउंड एंड द सेटेलाइट मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द लॉन्चर after its injection into its orbit we have achieved the precise orbital conditions of 557 km circular in fact the apogee is 557.5 and perigee is 556.5 inclination of 37 degrees is also achieved the mission has been a outstanding success check 1 2 is samay aap apne screen par dekh rahe hain ki hamare isro ke chairman अपने सभी डायरेक्टर्स और डिप्टी डायरेक्टर के साथ में अभिनंदन करते हुए चेयरमैन इसरो बीइंग ग्रीटेड बाय सीनियर साइंटिस्ट एंड ही इन टर्न इज कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग द टीम ऑफ सीनियर साइंटिस्ट द अवर सेंटर डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ वेरियस सेंटर्स एंड वेरियस टीम लीडर्स द प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर ऑफ पीएसएलवी साइंटिस्ट सेक्रेटरी इसरो ऑल ऑफ देम इन योर ऑन योर स्क्रीन्स एंड एज द विश each other well and congratulate each other for this launch we have many more launches of psl we lined up in this year and uh, they will be of various uh, missions supporting the satellite program of our country is samay hum apne screen pe chairman isro ko dekh rahe hain ab unki koi wo ghoshana karne ja rahe hain uska hum intezar karenge उसके लिए हम लोग कुछ देर और इंतजार करेंगे चेयर मिनिस्टर विल एड्रेस अस शॉर्टली वी आर वेटिंग फॉर डॉक्टर के शिवंस एड्रेस टू ऑल ऑफ अस ऑल्सो अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू रिटेरिएट दैट द मिशन हैज बीन कॉपी बुक फ्लाइट अ टेक्सट बुक फ्लाइट एज टू से एंड ऑल द ऑबिट कंडीशन आर अचीव the relative velocity of 7.2 or the um, initial velocity of 7.6 kilometers per second the vehicles presently is at a range of 5.38 kilometers from shrikota and uh, everything has been as per the plan is samay aap apne screen pe jo dekh pa rahe hain wo hamare vibhinn kendron se aaye hue nideshak उप निदेशक और किसी घोषणा का हम लोग इंतजार कर रहे हैं ऑन योर स्क्रीन ऑन द एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट ऑफ द स्क्रीन इज श्री एस आर बीजू द मिशन डायरेक्टर ऑफ दिस मिशन एंड बिहाइंड हिम इज श्री एन एस श्रीकांत द व्हीकल डायरेक्टर एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट कॉर्नर ऑन द बैक साइड ऑन द स्क्रीन नाउ ऑन ब्लू शर्ट लुकिंग एट यू इज द director of urc your aerospace center the clapping which you see is the confirmation of the signals from the satellite this is what chairman was awaiting before he comes and um, after uh, another round of congratulatory wishes he will be shortly addressing us jaisa ki abhi hum logon ko bataya gaya hai ki satellite se aane wale sanket hamare mission control par aa gaye hain isse ek aur khushi ki lehar daud gayi hai अब इसी को इसी उद्घोषण करने के लिए हमारे आई एस के चेयरमैन श्री डॉक्टर शिवन साहब डॉक्टर शिवन मीटिंग एक्स चेयरमैन ही सीनियर्स सीनियर चेयरमैन राइट नाउ विद डॉक्टर कस्तूर रंगन देन श्री एस किरण कुमार एंड नाउ विद डॉक्टर सुरेश चांसलर ऑफ आई एंड नाउ वी लीव टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय प्लीज लिसन टू द एड्रेस ऑफ डॉक्टर शिवन मैं माई डियर फ्रेंड I am extremely 
happy to announce that PSLV C46 has successfully injected RSH2B precisely in the designated orbit of 555 kilometer with inclination of 37 degree. This particular mission for PSLV is a very, very important mission in the sense with this satellite launch, PSLV has crossed a landmark of lofting 50 tons to space. <laughs> Comprises of 353 satellites is launched so far to the orbit, out of which 47 belongs to national satellite. The remaining satellite belongs to student satellite as well as the foreign satellites. This PSLV, in addition to the RSR2B payload, main payload, is carried two important piggyback payload. That is, number one, indigenously developed realized by the Vikram process are realized by semiconductor lab. <coughs> First time is a flown as a piggyback mode for NGC system. Second piggyback payload is the low cost MEMS based INS. It is going to revolutionize our in the future large vehicle missions. The reward of the satellite, the RSR2B is expand synthetic aperture radar, which is a advanced earth observation satellite operating in spotlight mode, strip mode, as well as mosaic mode. In this satellite, another very, very important, very complex new technology has flown, that is the 3.6 meter unfurlable radial drip antenna. This also going to be the future technology. Considering the efforts, the new developments and the successful mission achievements, the definitely the credit goes to Team ISRO, that is both launch vehicle team as well as uh, satellite team. Let me compliment and congratulate each one of the team members for achieving such a wonderful success. At the same time, to achieve such type of missions with precisely, definitely the existing system in ISRO, that uh, as existing review system, excellent review system, at the same time, a excellent quality system and flawless hardware supplied by industry are really the backbone of this success. Let me also compliment and congratulate each one of them for achieving such type of wonderful mission. Now having achieved the mission, what next? Definitely the next mission is going to be landmark mission for India. That is Chandrayaan 2 mission is going to take place between July 9th and 16th of this year. After launching the satellite, we are expecting the landing on the moon on September 6th. This is the first mission we are going to plan. Subsequently, we are going to have very high resolution Kato 3 satellite. Then, along with that, some couple of new developments that are going to happen. That is the reusable launch vehicle demonstration. The second demonstration is going to happen in coming months. Then we are going to have a acute and excellent cost effective small satellite launch vehicle development mission also going to happen another few months from now. And similarly, we have so many other missions on hand. And as usual, I expect or I hope that 
and I request that that all the team members of ISRO will rise to the occasion and meet the, the national goals successfully. And once again, I thank the team ISRO for achieving such a marvelous success. Thank you, Jai Hind. Congratulations to both PSLV and RISA 2B for this wonderful mission and congratulations to all the team members uh, of the launch vehicle teams across, spread across all the centers as well as the satellite team for achieving this mission flawlessly. This mission is very important for us, especially the satellite is a beautiful satellite with all the new technologies and I am sure this will be very useful to the users. And for PSLV, uh, it's again yet another milestone of its successful journey. Uh, the PSLV C-46 has done its job very well. The orbit achieved is also precise with its uh, altitude as well as inclination uh, falling within, well within the specifications. Uh, it's also very important that we are flying certain piggyback inertial platforms and OBC systems. As already mentioned that we have the new processor which is going to be the workhorse processor for all our computers in the future and uh, the aided navigation system that is going to revolutionize the way in which we do low cost launch vehicle realization in the future. So with this mission we are getting ready for further PSLV launches. Uh, at least three of them are getting ready with it to be launched in a few months and also getting ready with the GSLV Mark III Chandrayaan mission and its next uh, M2 mission of GSLV Mark 3. We are also getting ready for GSLV F10 and F12 missions which is going to launch very important satellites. So once again let me congratulate the entire team, ISRO, spread across all the launch vehicle centers for making this uh, launch vehicle and satellite so well and achieving this successful mission and want to congratulate uh, our partners and industries for making huge number of hardware for this uh, launch vehicle and satellite and uh, the readiness they are showing to build more number of launch vehicles in the coming years. From uh, the earlier rate of launches, we are really doubling it and uh, the both ISRO and the industries are equipping themselves to take up this challenge and we are sure going to demonstrate it. Thank you once again. Good morning all of you. It is yet another testimony to ISRO's dedicated effort and um, commitment effort towards accomplishing outstanding missions. Today's mission is very important and incidentally is the 48th uh, mission of PSLV uh, injecting RISA to be, to be a member of 48th orbiting uh, satellite, Indian satellite uh, in the orbit. So congratulations to the entire ISRO team and ISRO has been a practice and it has made a habit of making successive successful missions. Coming to the satellite, this has been a much awaited satellite with complex new technologies, expansor and one of the most cutting edge technology in the world, if you say one of his world the class, the, the 3.6 meter radial rib antenna. I know the Efforts, uh, efforts which have gone in the development and demonstration of such a cutting edge technology and congratulations specifically to this team. The payload is very complex, a number of new subsystems had, 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 had to be developed for this satellite and the satellite was uh, realized in record time. As it was already highlighted, this was made amidst a number of uh, multiple satellites in, in, in the pipeline. More than 10 satellites are, are in the pipeline at various stages at ISRO Satellite Center. And uh, I, let me congratulate and compliment all the centers involved in making this, uh, uh, this wonderful achievement uh, um, today. So let me congratulate once again and thank you all. Good morning to all. I am extremely happy, in fact, um, very happy and very privileged to stand here and address all of you after this wonderful mission of PSLV C-46, injecting RISAT 2B into the precise orbit as targeted. In fact, yesterday when I was sitting in NCC, many people asked me whether your speech is ready to make the speech after the launch. 
in fact today morning also one or two persons asked me what i gather from that is that is the that is the confidence we each and every one has got on this pslv vehicle there are no worries there are no concerns for anybody who have gone through this pslv launch vehicle technology i take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all people who have contributed especially my seniors and mentors most of uh, people who are available here who continuously guide us and continuously mentor us without any reservation i express my sincere gratitude to all my seniors here i have i also take this opportunity to thank each and every former project director as well as people who have been associated with psl mission from whom we have inherited this legacy this rich legacy of launch vehicle technology especially my immediate predecessor sri r hatton former project director and sri ag radhakrishnan sir former vehicle director from whom i have directly taken over for and having given me such an wonderful vehicle and a wonderful project and a project team to lead i have my associate project director sri n s rekan and my uh, another associate project director sri m j lal who are the vehicle director and associate vehicle director who often take the total load as well as the brunt of the uh, launch campaign activities i express my sincere gratitude to my associate project directors here all my system development agencies and all entities including space transportation system and the systems reliability entity spread over all centers have contributed immensely for this mission i express my gratitude to all my system development agencies entities and systems reliability agencies as our chairman isro has just mentioned we have an excellent review mechanism in isro com comprising of different uh, review forums where we discuss our design related as well as our testing related changes as well as observations and we take all action from these committees and see that all actions are getting closed and resulting in a very clean system which is which is now available here as we have seen i express my sincere gratitude to all the review forums especially flight readiness review forums and uh, mission readiness review committees through which we uh, get a very clean system on board then i uh, take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to chairman isro for having given us this opportunity to launch this mission who continuously guides us often every week i think he calls me and asks what is the status and whenever i give him positive status he is extremely happy and he will say immediately very good very good that motivates us a lot sir thank you very much all center directors and directors of istro centers especially director iprc director urc director sdsc and director lpsc all continuously interact with me and gives us lot of guidance and support thank you all director vssc this is a special mention because he interacts with us on a daily basis almost on an hourly basis guiding us giving us good suggestions good solutions and often holding our hands when when we feel we will be uh falling down without his guidance without his support definitely this not have been possible and i would not have been standing here thank you very much sir finally before concluding i would like to extend my compliments as well as my best wishes for my satellite team that is rsat 2b team for a wonderful mission for years and years to come thank you very much sir thank you all our respected chairman is so center directors senior mentors dear colleagues very warm good morning to all of you first let me compliment congratulate and salute team isro for this wonderful achievement of pslv c46 rsat 2b mission this psl is not only launched 353 satellites it acted as a very very powerful platform to demonstrate various technologies in fact in this particular mission also we have demonstrated couple of technologies which will be useful for all our future missions this particular mission this uh, satellite team realized the spacecraft within the shortest time period possible and we could able to launch with the least countdown time of 25 hours this shows the Team Isro's maturity in handling the rocket technology. Coming to the Satish Dhawan Space Center, we could be able to deliver the all solid motors within the shortest span of time 
and handle the liquid propulsion system, acquire liquid propulsion system in very, very efficient way, which will lead to very safe operations, which reduces the overall schedule. Coming to the vehicle integration and assembly, the maturity it attained over years helped us to ensure flawless integrations and we have got excellent uh, team of uh, tracking and telemetry which ensures uh, safe operations. Over and above our system reliability and robust review mechanism help us to make sure that we are always going with flying with the safe, I mean flawless systems which ensures 100% performance. Soon, the Sajid Zawan Space Center will be doubling the solid motor production and triple the integration facilities. Soon, Team ISRO and whole nation will be celebrating the Chandrayaan mission and many more missions to come. At this juncture, let me appreciate and acknowledge contribution made by our senior mentors, family members and industrial partners. With this, let me wish you all the best. Thank you. Good morning. Hearty congratulations to Team ISRO. This is a wonderful mission. It gives us another platform for microwave remote sensing for art observation. The payload is a very complex payload. It has 108 subsystems and I am happy to say all these subsystems are made in-house or through our Indian industry. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the people who developed this payload because of their tireless efforts and strong determination. I also congratulate each and every member of ISRO and wish you all the best for our future endeavors. Thank you. RTS congratulations to each and every one of you. It is yet another important day for ISRO. The PSLV C46 has successfully injected the technology intensive and complex very shortly realized RSR-2B in the right orbit. This success is due to the dedicated, sincere hard work of Team ISRO along with the industrial partners. And today we have seen the vehicle performance is so excellent. All the systems have worked very well. On this occasion, on behalf of the Liquid Propulsion System Center, let me congratulate, compliment, Salute all the team members, our family members, industrial partners and our mentors for guiding us. On this occasion, I want to say with IPRC team, the Liquid Propulsion System Center is equipped and geared up to meet all the requirements of ISRO, all the missions of ISRO. Once again, let me thank each and every one of you for the excellent work done. Thank you, Jai Shilp. Respected Chairman ISRO, Center Directors, illustrious leaders of ISRO whose blessings are always with us, high-level dignitaries who witnessed the flawless liftoff of PSLV C-46 RISAT 2B liftoff, and subsequent injection of the spacecraft in the precise orbit and subsequent solar panel deployments. My senior colleagues, then my dearest RISAT-2B team members who have realized the spacecraft in a record time of 15 months and with their highest level of commitment, dedication, everyone has given their best. And I thank PSLV and PSLV team for injecting RISAT to be in a precise orbit. Well begun is half done and RISAT to be has started its journey in the orbit and it is going to perform and it is going to change the way we do remote sensing and put it to use for disaster management and national development. I 
RSA-2B spacecraft comprises of bus module, payload module, and on top of the payload module, a highly complex and technologically excellent 3.6 meter deployable radial rib antenna, which was also developed in a record time. And payload has a lot of uh, complex technologies, high power, transmission that is 2 kilowatts of pulsed power was derived from SSPAs with uh, 8 SSPAs combined power with a butler matrix, a high power circulator switch and a host of complex technologies and similarly the bus, bus system was there to support this uh, agility requirement and the mission requirements. My salutations and gratitude to my dearest RISAT-2B team each one of them have given their best and contributed to realize this mission in a record time of 15 months, which any other best industry also would have taken not less than four years to realize this mission. I thank the management of ISRO for giving me this opportunity to lead the team and contribute my best. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Respected Chairman ISRO and my dear colleagues ISRO, good morning to all of you. It is yet another textbook plant by PSLV C46 and RISAT-2B mission. The satellite was injected exactly the 557 kilometer orbit. Performance of PS2 and PS4 stages are normal. In addition to the injection of the main satellite, the piggyback test uh, Systems also performed very well. The Vikram 1601 made by SEL 16, again, it is going to be used in near future as a main processor for the controlling the launch vehicles. Sir, as you list out the coming launches, IPRC team is geared up to deliver the stages in time. We already fixed the PS2 and the PS4 stages. PS4 stages on 23rd and PS2 stages on 27th we are going to deliver to the project and uh, upcoming projects also IPRC is geared up. At the census, let me congratulate and compliment all ISRO teams, particularly IPRC team and our industry partners who is participating with our uh, test facilities build up. I must congratulate and compliment. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Good morning, everybody. Let me once again congratulate the team ISRO for this uh, very excellent performance of PSLV and injecting into the precise orbit. For this navigation and inertial system community, this uh, flight is more interesting as well as challenging because we had three navigation systems were flying, one in the main as well as two systems in piggyback mode. As mentioned, the ACL realized, our own design and realized processor is being validated and the performance has been excellent. And another very major milestone is actually the challenge thrown on us to develop low cost, low mass, high precision navigation system. So, I should uh, thank our chairman because in, I remember one of the reviews in uh, Shar only, he posed this challenge to us and I posed this to my team and the team had come out with a wonderful innovative solution of using very, very low cost MEMS gyroscopes and achieving. Today, what we have seen is uh, the identical performance of high precision has been achieved with the piggyback. Uh, navigation system also. So let me congratulate my team I, 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 at IASU as well as those who have all played part in realizing this in a very short time. So the challenge ahead is the challenges are more in the coming days and we assure you sir that with the best of our ability all this activity will be completed. Once again in RISAT 2B also Within a short duration, 
we could develop an uh, actuator, one newton meter actuator to increase the agility of the spacecraft. So I wish the spacecraft team also all the success in all the mission operations in the days to come. Thank you, thank you once again all my colleagues in ISRO, ISRO as well as the industry partners and our mentors. Thank you. My dear friends, definitely this, uh, the performance of the, the mission is uh, the fantastic and uh, in terms of fault tube, so the, we got the orbit within 3 kilometer difference that uh, targeted orbit. With the, with the inclination target is within almost zero, that is 0 0.002 degree. It's such a precise mission we had. Also the missions, uh, our, uh, the piggyback also exactly performed as the main payload. That means we have full confidence on the low cost INS system whatever we have flown. In next five years, this satellite, it is uh, going to do the excellent services in the all other uh, conditions. And I'm sure that uh, it will be useful for the users to the maximum. And as I mentioned, my dear friends, next mission is the most complex mission ISRO has ever undertaken. That is Chandrayaan 2 mission. It is not only a launch mission, and we are going to land precisely at a place where nobody else has gone. This is a challenging for the whole ISRO team and I am sure, I don't have any doubt that the team ISRO will achieve the, the target or the mission precision, the precision, whatever we are aiming for. So once again, I am thanking the team ISRO for standing, racing to the occasion and at the same time achieving the missions as we demand. Thank you. Jason, let us see after uh, in, in, during the, uh, the Chandrayaan 2 mission. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>